hi guys my name is bless you say welcome to my channel this is a channel where i share tutorial videos on different ways of cutting and sewing so if you are interested in, in learning how to cut and sew kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever i post new video so guys in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to make a reversible bralette top so these are the things i'll be needing for this tutorial i'll be making use of this crepe and this african print the crepe is going to serve as the lining then the african print is going to serve as the main fabric for this top so the main measurements we'll be needing for this tutorial are my side bust to my mid chest measurement which is 7 inches my upper bust to my under bust measurement which is 7 inches also then my round under bust measurement which is 28 inches so guys i went ahead to place the measurements on the fabric i'm working with so i went ahead to mark out a square of 8 inches it's supposed to be 7 inches but i added an extra inch for stitching allowance so you can see that it's eight inches now so I'm just going to cut it out so guys as you can see I've gone ahead to cut it out yeah so the next thing I'm going to do right now I'm going to cut out the band for this top so I'm just going to keep this aside and mark out the band that I'll be using for this top so remember I said my round on that bust measurement was 28 inches. So I'm just going to mark 4 inches for the short part of the band, then 14 inches for the longer part of the band. As you can see, the fabric is in a fold. That was the reason I marked 14 inches. So when I open it up, it's going to be 28 inches. So I'm just going to cut it out. So guys, these are the main parts of this top. This short one is going to serve as the cup and this long one is going to be the band for this top. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to place them on this black one and cut them out. So guys, you can see that I have gone ahead to cut out a lining piece for each of the fabric. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to take and the lining away and work on the main curves. So guys, at this point, I'll advise you to look closely to understand what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to fold this fabric into a triangle and I'm going to fold it again as you see me doing yeah i'm just going to fold it again then i'm going to cut off this part that the last part that i folded I'm just going to cut it out as you see me doing so i'm just going to repeat the same thing for this other cup well you can decide to place the two cups together while working on it but I decided to work on them separately for an unknown reason. So you can see how they came out. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to fold it as you see me doing. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just going to fold them, fold it. Sorry, I'm going to this sharp edge that I say. I want to get rid of it so i'm just going to use my chalk and make a curve around along that area to get rid of that sharp edge i'm just going to make a curve as you see me doing so guys the next thing i'm just going to cut it out as you see me doing all right so you can see how it looks when i open it up you can see how it is so i'm just going to do the same thing for this other side or this other cup just going to repeat the same thing for this other cup
I also went ahead to do same for the lining pieces as you can see yeah so the next thing I'm going to do right now I'm going to fold them back right side facing each other as you see me doing I'm just going to fold them all after folding them I'm going to take them to the sewing machine to start stitching them I'm going to stitch them down you can see the parts I'm about to stitch down this part I'm going to stitch down this part all right you can see that I've gone ahead to stitch them down like I said so I'm just going to take my scissors right now and make notches along that stitched area I'm just going to make notches in all of them so I'm just going to turn them to the right sides now wow you can see our cups have started forming just going to turn them all to the right sides So the next, I also went ahead to make uh, two loops that I'll be using in the neck area. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to start working on one of the cup. I'm going to take this one of the ropes. Then I'm going to place it this way. Watch closely. I'm just going to place it this way i'm going to use these lining pieces to cover it up ensuring that the right sides are facing each other so i'm just going to take my pin and pin it down as you see me doing for it to stay in place So I'm just going to take it over to the sewing machine right now and stitch along this area. Just going to stitch it around. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the this other cup as well. So guys, I've gone ahead to stitch them down around that area. So I'm just going to take my scissors right now. And trim off these and uh, rough edges I'm just going to trim off these rough edges so I'm just going to turn them to the right side now I'm just going to turn them to the right side as you see me doing Wow look how pretty they are coming out guys you can see how the cups look right now so I'm just going to take the two aside to work on the band all right yeah, what I'm going to do right now I'm going to stitch down one side of this band I'm going to stitch down this side of this band all right I've gone ahead to stitch it down as you can see so the next thing I'm going to do right now I'm going to open it up and make uh, notches in the middle of the both sides I'm just going to make notches in the middle of the both sides so I'm just going to open it up right now and place it this way and I'll bring my cups so guys I'm just going to place this cup at the middle where I made a notch I'm going to place this cup there as you see me doing and I'm going to pin it down as well
so you can see I have pinned the two curves down so the next thing I'll do right now I'll fold in the curves as you see me doing I'll fold them in then I'll use the black side to cover up the curves just watch closely you see what I'm doing So I'm just going to pin it down, I'm going to pin down this side, I'm going to pin it down. Then after pinning it down, I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and make a stitch along this side. So you can see I've gone ahead to stitch it down. So I'm just going to trim off these little excesses then I'm turning it to the right side. Alright guys, you can see that I've gone ahead to turn it to the right side and you can see how beautiful it's looking, right? So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to fold this into two. The round on the bust measurements I'm using for this top is 28 inches. So I decided to lace the top so the, what I'm going to do right now I'm going to I'm going to take away two inches from each side of the band so as you can see I've gone ahead to take out four inches from the initial 28 inches I have so I'm just going to fold down this side of the band then I'm going to pick one of the loops I made. I made this loop using two inches. I'm going to be placing them inside the band as you see me doing. I'm going to place it and then I'm going to stitch it down. I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and stitch it down for both of the sides. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead to stitch them down. As you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I also went ahead to make a long rope that I'll be using to lace the top. So I'm just going to lace it right now. I'm going to lace the top right now. So as you can see, I've laced it and this is the outcome. Look very pretty. You can wear both the back and the front. Remember it's reversible. So guys, let me think. Let me know what you think about this particular video in the comment section. Yes, yeah, see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.